Hey guys, in this video we are talking about what to do when you have a question involving a free-falling object. The most important thing you need to know about free-falling objects is that the force of acceleration acting upon them is going to be equal to the force of gravity. And the acceleration due to gravity here on Earth is 9.8 meters per second squared. So even though these questions won't state that that's what acceleration is equal to in the question, if it says something like a stone is dropped or something falls off a cliff, you know that the force acting upon it as acceleration is always, always, always going to be gravity. So you can just assume it's 9.8 meters per second squared in all the questions that you're doing. So we've got the example, a stone is dropped 32.4 meters above a pond. Find the velocity when the stone hits the water. So because we're dropping it and it's falling to the surface of the earth, A equals 9.8 meters per second squared. We're asked what is the velocity when the stone hits the earth. So that would be the final velocity. You can assume we're like holding it in our hand up there and we let go. So the original velocity would be zero. We don't have any mention of time, but that's okay because one of our kinematic formulas doesn't involve time, but involves all the variables that we have and the one that we're looking for, which is Vs. So this is the one I'm thinking of. Vf squared equals V naught squared plus 2AD. So Vf, that's what we're trying to find. V naught or V i, the initial velocity was zero, plus two, a is the acceleration due to gravity, which is 9.8 meters per second squared, times the distance. Our stone fell 32.4 meters, so displacement is 32.4 meters, and all you have to do is simplify that down until you have V f. So zero, I'm just going to pretend that that's not there, because zero is just nothing. Two times 9.8 times 32.4, I get that's equal to 635.04. So that's what V final squared is equal to. So to find regular Vf, all you need to do is square root both sides. So the square root of 635.04, I get that's equal to 25.2. Think about your units. Velocity is meters per second, and we're thinking about dropping a stone. So you could say that's meters per second down would be perfectly fine units. 